What is up everybody, sysadmin Sean here with another Proxmox import tool test. I've had a quite a few folks ask me to do a Windows Server with a GUI. So we've gone ahead and set up Windows Server 2022 here with a GUI. And we've already got our ESXi host mounted, so we can see that right there. And this is our VM, as you can see, Windows 2022 GUI. I do not have VMware tools installed, but just so everyone notices, I do have internet access. As you can see, bada bang, bada boom. And uh, you'll also notice I don't have VMware tools installed, but if we go to Device Manager, and we go to Network Adapters, we can see that VMX Net 3 adapter is installed. So we do have that driver already installed in Windows, and so that's what we're going to use in the Proxmox host. And let's go ahead and get the import going, and we'll see you in just a moment. Oh yeah, we forgot. We have to, one, unmount the CD, and two, we really gotta turn it off. So let's do that real quick. Because we don't really need this. I'm doing powered off mode and I'm not going to be doing, I'm going to try and import live, but I don't think an import live is going to work for me because of my network. EFI state cannot be imported. You may need to reconfigure the boot order. Now that's interesting. We didn't get that last time. Let's see what happens though. I think everything there looks okay. It's a shame we can't change that. Prepare for vert and SCSI. Look at all this, all this prep. We got the bridge squared away. And we'll, let him work. And we'll see you in just a moment. All right, that's finished. Let's see if this thing even powers on. As you might remember, we did get a weird little error. Do we get our spinny circle? There's our boot disks. There's our spinny circle. There we go, GUI done. Let's fix this real quick because of the way my networking works and because of the way the tool works. I believe it's 30. It shouldn't be, but let's double check here. Yeah, 31. Don't hit that. Nope, 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 yeah. 31, hit okay. Let's see if uh, networking worked as well. The trick here is I'm not sure how to send a control or delete because <laughs> I don't do that. I always worry about actually pressing the buttons because that might happen. Control, Alt, wait, is this, yep, there we go. <laughs> and there we are, we're all loaded in. Same VM, yep, unplanned outage because I powered it off. Migrated. Let's see if we've got internet. Now remember, we haven't installed the, the VMware tools. We didn't install, let's try something we haven't gone to yet. There we go. Now let's double check something real quick in apps and features. Some people were thinking that maybe it gets, um, the QEM tools installed. Well, it looks like it does not. So it is just using the drivers that Windows has. So if that is something you need to do afterwards, that is gonna be on a case by case basis. And obviously we do have a PCI device driver that is missing, probably those client tools. Again, we didn't prep this, but we have networking and the system is up and the GUI's here. I think that's more than enough, but I will say, this is a, 
pretty clean environment. Your mileage may vary. Actually, it will vary because, you know, customizations and builds over time change and, and things get a little a little spicy. But there it is for you. GUI is working fine. We have networking once we adjust for my configuration in Proxmox. And that's it. And we'll see you in the next one.